Okay, this is an interview question a student of mine got, and I'm gonna walk you through how I would have answered it. And this should give you an idea of how to, uh, how to approach other problems, you know, other similar problems. So the question is, uh, you have two random variables, A and B, both uniformly distributed on, on zero, one, from interval of from zero to one. And uh, they're, they're independent, they're, there's no correlation between the two. And so the question is, what's the probability that the sum, A plus B, is less than 0.1? Now, first, it's always, you know, first you can kind of take a breath. You're always nervous in an interview, but in, in any interview question is going to test some idea of finance. And right here you can realize this is, this is uh, the sum of two random variables is probably going to be a diversification question. So what we're going to see here in our answer is the power of diversification. So kind of starting there, I know that. But, uh, and I know um, to answer this, uh, I can use a convolution. Uh, so that would be the formula if you were to get this on a, uh, on a homework question and, you know, you would write out a convolution and, and, and find the probability density function. In an interview, though, uh, you, you're, you're, the question that you're getting probably doesn't require you chugging through all that mathematics. So, so I can kind of simplify this in my head and say, can I, can I take a more simple uh, approach to finding this probability density function um, and... And, and, and that's what we're going to do here. So the simplification I'll do is I'll probably just say, okay, well, let's imagine quickly that this is discrete and see if that gets me anywhere. If we can imagine this is a, a discrete distribution. So um, now, and we can start at the left tail. I know probably this is symmetric, but we can start at the left tail because that's the more important one to us. Uh, so let's, let's, let's assume that it's discrete. And what we can kind of do, well, first I should mention, we, you know, we already know that this is going to be defined over an interval zero to two, right? So I know it, you know, this is going to be where our probability density function is. So let's start at zero. So I can kind of think if this is discrete and, and why not just say, okay, let's take um, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0, you know, 0 0.3. I might have to make this a little longer, you know, kind of consider intervals like that. It, it coincides with this is less than 0.1. So I can kind of look at this and say, okay, well, how many ways could I get uh, um, a zero, right? Well, I can only get zero if both A and B are zero. So I can, I can sit there and go, okay, if A is zero and B is zero, right, you know, that's one way that I can get this. Um, but if I go 0 0.1, how many different ways can I get this? Well, if A is zero and B is 0 0.1, if um, B is uh, 0 0.1 and A is... Uh, uh, if A is 0 0.1 and B is 0. Uh, so there's two ways that I can get this, right? And continuing this, we go, okay, well, let's just, you know, because it's not, it doesn't take very much time to kind of figure these out. And, you know, you got a little scratch piece of paper. So what about 0 0.2? Okay, well, I can get this if I have 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. But then if I have 0 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and 0. So now this is 3. And now uh, I have a pattern, right? And now I see the answer, right? Uh, and you can do a couple more of these, but what you realize, this is going to increase linearly. There's, there's one way to do it, two ways, three ways, and there's going to be four, five, six, and so forth. Um, and, you know, and th this should kind of click. Uh, you, you can also, you know, you might be familiar with this if you look at the probability of rolling um, dice, you know, rolling a uh, two dice, rolling a, a two or a three or a four, and, that, and that's what's going on here. So right now I know this is linear. Right? And I know um, the expected value is going to be um, 1, right? So I know the expected value, this is 1. And this is, so this is going to increase linearly. I don't, need to do the full I don't need to do the full probability density function, but I know I have this increasing linearly up here to 1 and then decreasing to 2, right? So that's 1. Of course, I only need this here. And note, now that I know that this is increasing linearly to 1, right, um, then I know this, you know, this, this has a slope of 1. Uh, so I can just use um, uh, the area of a triangle, right? And, and again, any interview question is going to have easy math like that, right? So it's not going to, you know, so it's not going to make you integrate over something, um, some curvature. Uh, you know, it's just going to be, the area is going to be the area of a triangle. So there we go. And what we have here, um, you know, the slope of 1, so 0.1, the height is 0.1. So 1, you know, using 1 half base times height, this is going to be 0.1 squared, and this is going to be 0.5%.
which is going to show you the, the effect of diversification, right? So this is, this is quite low relative to, um, you know, if you have a uniform on 0, 2, right? So in sum, how did we, how did we think about this? We, we thought about it in two ways. First, we kind of recognize that there's going to be some diversification aspect here. So whatever result we get should, should show uh, the, the, the effect of diversification, which it does. And then we simplified the problem a little bit and started, you know, simplified it and, and sometimes you might simplify it in such a way and it doesn't get you anywhere but you know we simplified it and and started looking at it and doing some simple calculations you know provided us with the answer that's the thing if you know if it um if it doesn't you want to do simple calculations so um because that's what's going to be in an interview question uh so you can try a couple ideas try some simple calculations you know the first might work like it did for me but you know um, it might be your second, third idea, but, uh, um, and then, like I say, once you get it, it should click and it should be a very, very easy calculation. So I hope this helps you approach interview, uh, questions like this. It's always, um, a little bit more, you know, uh, you're a little bit more relaxed when you know, kind of, you know, how to approach something like this. And, and, and that once you kind of realize the idea, the, the calculations are all going to be very easy. Okay, you know, and also if you want, you know, if you do have any interview questions you would like explained, always feel free to, to throw them in the comments or something. Uh, otherwise, um, have a great day.